gravity force from up to down and today we will mention about friction force last lesson we mentioned about magnetism and let's show let's show to you okay we mentioned about gravity and upthrust force and we mentioned about magnetism if you don't remember you can listen the old lesson from youtube you know and last lesson we mentioned about force of pulling and opposite force you know and float or sink and let's start today's topic today we will mention about investigating of forces okay let's remember which force pulls object down to earth i said the names of forces which we passed last lesson now do you remember which force pulls object down to earth or opposite gravity. to this force yes gravity wonderful and which force push back against gravity it's mean against gravity as you remember remember please floating how it will sink if gravity greater than another force it will sink what is the name of this force it is up thrust force yes let's see it means ah, it yes, up against gravity okay against gravity and last lesson we mentioned about float or sink you know if if gravity greater than up thrust force or buoyant force what will happen it will sink because look here this is okay. we mentioned last lesson okay let's start today i'll mention about friction what do you know about friction guys what's friction Can you give an example from your daily life? For example, for example, who will say? Friction. Let's show picture. You will remember. Friction. Many different types of frictions. Frictions when the surface touch each other it causes you know an effect this effect slow down the um, look here for example for example let's see here there are different types of surfaces you know if surface is smooth will be less friction and can move fastly but if surface is rough it will increase the friction because of the friction movement will slowly look here during walking in a rough surface we can walk slowly but during as you see ice skating it's a smooth surface and less friction and also as you know there are different types of shoes these shoes increase the friction especially in winter we don't fall down because it is sticky stick on snow but what about this ice skating special shoes you know they have less uh, surface area and also you, you know uh, snow smooth surface because of them frictionless they can go faster without being slowed down now let's see what's the effect of friction friction slow down if 
surfaces, as you see, if surfaces touch each other, it will cause friction and friction slow down the activities. As you see, these shoes on the rough surface give a lot of friction and slow, slow down. And during ice skating or skiing, what will happen? Spatial shoes. These spatial shoes, you know, uh, not all surface area. As you see, a small surface area will touch to snow. Snow also, smooth surface and less friction. They will go faster. Okay, think about cars. You know, cars is a machine. And machine parts are helped to move by adding oil. You know, if we add oil to cars or also bicycles, less friction and less friction, they will move faster. Okay, let's answer the question. Can you hear me? Can you see the screen, guys? Are you there? Yes, yes, I can see it. Okay, wonderful. Now, why is oil added to machines like bicycle and car? I explained. Who will repeat? What's the aim? Why is oil added Prince, to I can't hear you. You cannot hear? Sorry, you cannot hear me? What Let's see. You say repeat, I didn't hear you. Yes, I mentioned about the question on the screen. Yes. Yes. Can you hear me now? Can you repeat? I didn't hear you. Okay. Because our of internet connection. Yes, our question on the screen. Look at carefully. I can't hear you. Yes, normally no problem with voice. Can you hear me now? Look here, the question, why is oil yes. machines? You can see also on the screen. Can you answer me to me? Hmm. Maybe, let me think. Okay, let's think. Okay, let's repeat one more time. I explained, but I'll repeat one more time for you let's turn back let's turn back look here look here carefully machine parts it means car or bicycle if we add oil what will happen engine will move it means will uh, produce energy without friction and will move faster Okay, when we add oil, the surface will be smooth with oil and it reduces friction. It means it decreases friction because of it move faster. Did you understand question and answer? Yes. Okay, we are adding oil to decrease or reduce the friction because friction slow down. If we reduce friction, we'll move faster. Okay, what happens if force of friction increases? You know, fric let's remember friction one more time. Friction, when two surfaces touch each other, slow down the movement. And what happens if the force of friction increases? Okay. Fatima also came. Fatima, can you answer the question? But I think you didn't hear the lesson. Okay, let's answer. What happens if the force of friction increases? You know, friction slow down the movement. If friction increases, movement will be slowly. Yes, 
Some students come later because of them. I'll repeat one more time. I explain the definition of friction. Friction when two surfaces touch each other, slow down the movement. This is she uh, this is the definition, but forces can be useful. We will learn why it will be useful. And it changes according to surface area. If this area rough, it will be a lot, a lot of friction. But if surface area smooth like the snow, will be less friction and faster movement. Here, as you see, rough surface area, a lot of friction and movement will be slowly, but on snow, during ice skating, by spatial shoe, less surface area and smooth snow, they move fastly. Okay, yes, if the force of friction increases, it slows down the movement. This is the answer. Yes, let's mention, mention about the uh, object's movement. Yes, we are using arrows. Arrow, we draw a thick arrow to show a bigger force. We draw a... Let's show, let's show on the... I'll, I'll explain on picture, you will understand better. Look here, this is a car. And then, two different force. As you see, one of them by thick arrow, one of them thin. Thick one show greater force. If this force greater than this force, it can move easily. What are the name of them? This is like push force by engine of car this is friction force and greater than friction force this car can move if they are equal if two a row uh, equal what will happen will stop look here let's read who will read for us? I'll read. Okay, Yakin. Yeah. Okay, Yakin. Let's read the first one, and I'll explain. Okay. When the force are the same, we call them balance. This means nothing happens. When okay. Thank you. Thank you. Let's show on the picture one more time. You will understand better by using pictures. If Two arrows same are same. This one and this one are same. It will stop. Nothing will happen because this is the push force by engine and this is the friction force. If they are equal, it will stop. Nothing happens. Did you understand the first sentence? If forces are equal, it will stop because friction will stop the push force by engine and it won't move and in the second one let's read yeah. when you observe your toy car at the beginning of your instigation it did it it did nothing yes now we will do an investigation with you on this investigation if you put a toy car, what will happen if you don't push or pull, it will, it will stay there, isn't it? It won't move, it will stay there. Because, as you see, uh, it will balanced, balanced force, it won't move. But, if you push, now you will see. Continue to read, please. Okay, this means the force were balanced. Mm hmm wonderful. Let's finish the end. I want to read. No, I, want to, I didn't finish. Okay. When you push your car, it moved. 
This means a force where no now no longer balanced, and something happened. The car moved. Okay, let's explain this sentence on this picture. Okay, in the first case, if we put this toy car directly, it won't move because no push. But if you push this car, push force will be greater than friction and it will move as you see we can show these forces by arrows arrow here this is the push force this is the friction force if push force larger bigger than friction force this car will move but if they are balanced if they are equal, it will stop. In these sentences, explain about them. In the first case, as you see, nothing happens because they are balanced. But if push force greater than the friction force, it will move because, as you see, push force bigger larger arrow than the friction and this car will move did you understand is it clear yes it's clear we mentioned about the friction force and push force in this lesson let's continue okay what about the speed what about the direction of car let's mention about it now please another one read for us who will read for us yakin read and then aram can you read for us yes once the okay aram let's read i'll explain once the toy car is moving it will continue at the same speed and its same direction if another force is applied they change speed or stop uh, altogether. Okay, thank you. Now I'll explain them. Wait a minute. Uh, wait a minute. Here. First of all, first of all, if this toy car is moving, is if this toy car is moving, what will happen? Push force bigger than friction force. If we push it and this car mode it will continue to the same direction by same speed as you know but if we want to change its direction what will happen uh, it means this toy car move directly but if our force the direction or size from another side what will happen speed will change or direction also will change it means forces can change the direction or speed of an object here let's see if force from this side it will go straight ahead but if we change the direction of force for example from right side what will happen guys if we push this toy car from right side what will happen it will stop it will go back it will go it won't back. stop to it stop is. these forces must equal balanced but I mentioned about unbalanced forces, only friction from different side. If we push it from right side, it won't go straight, it will go to other side. Because we pushed from right, it will go to left. Did you understand? Here, look here. Now, if I push from here, it will go directly straight ahead. But if I push from here, it will go to opposite side. It means if we change the uh, direction of forces, 
Also, we can change the direction of this toy car. This is an uh, experiment observation. You can try it. Look here. We explained about it. We can change the direction of object. What's our object here? Our toy car. If we change size and position of force, their direction will change. Its direction will change. Here, you can do it by using by driving a car. Let's see. If the car is driving along the road, what will happen? Push push force come from engine, yes. isn't it? How this car will move by engine. And then uh, if engine push uh, force greater than the friction, it will move. Is it clear? Look here. Two forces. One force is push force come from engine. Second force friction by tire and ground. You know, car has four tire on the ground. Between tire and ground there is friction. And if push force greater than the friction force between tire and ground, it will move. It is easy to understand, isn't it? Push force greater than friction force cars will move. If push force by engine is equal with the friction force, it will stop. Any question? Did you understand these sentences? Yes. yes. Okay. okay, wonderful. Now let's turn back to, uh, as you see, force for uh, sink or let's see here to sink if we draw the forces by arrows if this ship sink what will happen gravity force greater bigger than up thrust force did you see if up thrust for force Greater than gravity, it will swim, not sink. But here we can show the forces by arrow. This is thick arrow. Why? Gravity greater than up thrust force. Because of them, this ship sank. Okay? Any question? If they are equal, it will swim. Isn't it? If two forces are equal it will swim but here as you see thick force show the greater force thin force show the as you see small force and if gravity greater or larger than up thrust force this ship will sink any question do you understand uh, yes i have a question Yes, I'm listening. I have a, um, yes. If the gravity force was uh, more, more than the uptrust force, what will happen? Here, look at the picture carefully. Here, this thick arrow show big force. And here, gravity, big than uptrust force. Like your question. Here, what happened to this ship? In this picture, uh, I mean, uh, what if up thrust force was greater than gravity? Yes, uh, it will also swim. Swim. Okay. <laughs> float. Float or sink. It will float if, uh, as you see, because you know this ship will supply the balance with the up force if they are equal or a thrust force bigger it will swim or not sink but as you see gravity thick and 
Up to a thin arrow, it shows that gravity are greater than up thrust force. Okay, thank you for your question. This is from your book. I'm not sure on which page. Let's question one by one. If forces are visible, how can you show them? You can see the answers here. We are using arrows to show the forces. We are using thick arrow to show the big forces and thin arrow to show the little forces or as you see if we compare them. And what does the size of arrow show? Arrow show the effect of force. If it is more, it will be thick. If it is less, it will be thin. And let's remember the Newton's apple story. And according to Newton's apple story, you know, when Newton sat under apple tree and an apple fall down on head. This is apple tree and this is the apple. <laughs> and uh, let's draw the arrow. Which forces are there here? Up thrust and uh, gravity. Yes, which one tick, which one thin? Gravity here. the apple down and up thrust pushing the apple. Yes, but here gravity, gravity more than up thrust because of them. It will go down on the head of Newton, okay? It means here gravity more than up thrust because fall down. Okay, any question till here? No. No. Yes. And do you remember the old uh, lesson? It means I mentioned about the types of forces because I'll send some homeworks about these forces to you. About this lesson, let's show the homework. But about the old topics also I'll send to you from chat. You will answer there. Let's remember and answer it's about this lesson okay the first question list the forces act on floating object now let's show a floating object to you and who will say this uh, forces to me yes this is a floating object which forces are there here If it is, as you see, sinking, which one greater, which one thick, which one thin? What can you say? The drowning side is the thickest and the, and the up side is like the thin. weakest. Yes, yes, like it. Look here carefully, upper side. This is the gravity force. It is greater than up thrust force, as you see. Upper side thick and bottom side thin. Because of them, it sinks. Thank you. Okay, now question two. Let's show the question two. Yes. Which force pulls object down to earth? Page 128, you can see these questions. Which force pulls object down to earth? It's very easy. Newton's rules, remember, please. Do you remember? It's gravity. Yes. Yes, Yakin, thank you. It is gravity. And against gravity, there is up thrust force. It is the force push back against gravity okay let's remember this one too this is the last one can you remember how forces can change the shape of an object okay if you don't remember i'll give them as homework 
It is on the page 130. There are two questions. Please answer them as homework, okay? okay. Yes. If any question till here, we mentioned about investigation of forces. Last lesson, we mentioned about types of forces. And I'll send another homework from chat to you about all forces. Any question about types of forces or investigation of forces? Did you understand the topic? Yes, it's easy. Yes, it's easy. Okay, you are right. Okay, yes. Uh, see you next lesson. Today my lesson finished. And um, I'll send homework from chat. Please try to answer till the next lesson. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. See you next lesson.